Mike mentioned a, a bunch of the participants and kind of the personas uh, within the CCC. So Dan, from a, a technical perspective, why would somebody want to participate in this group? You know, what, what, what do you get out of it or what are they trying to do? Yeah, so a, a lot of the people who are in the CCC are participating because they're working on confidential computing and they get to collaborate with people that they wouldn't maybe otherwise get to do. So mm -hmm. Mike mentioned that we've got all the major uh, chip architectures represented in the CCC. Uh, a little later today, I'm going to meet with my counterpart at AMD and we're going to be talking about some of the objectives that we have on the, the Technical Advisory Council. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Linux Foundation gives us this safe place to, to interact and collaborate. We also have people that are interested in security that maybe aren't uh, currently working on confidential computing. Mm -hmm. There's a number of, of discussion groups that we have that you can just show up and be a fly on the wall and learn if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, of course, if you are already developing open source, we'd love to support that within the CCC. Anything that's mm -hmm. relevant for confidential computing is uh, welcome and accepted within the CCC. Nice. Yeah, so an example of some of the, the collaboration things that happen, again, under the, the technical umbrella, let alone the marketing umbrella, because uh, we can come to that. But in terms of the, the technical side, we've got stuff from governance, risk and compliance, you know, really quite high up the stack in the business side of the house, working about how that works, talking to regulators, talking to standards bodies, uh, trying to understand how confidential computing technologies can help in that sort of space. All the way down to we have a group specifically on uh, the Linux kernel and how to get uh, you know a, appropriate architectures upstreamed and code and patches upstreamed into the Linux uh, Linux kernel because the Linux kernel community is a very special one uh, and mm -hmm. uh, and it needs to be addressed in the right way and so this is a great place for for these you know competing companies but who want the same thing for the industry. Uh, mm -hmm. to work together in a safe place and to do that. And, and the example that uh, we had just had from Dan is a really very good example of that. Mm 